What a disaster! I have to get to the cargo bay as soon as possible. I can control the crane from here, but I can only move the containers that don't have anything on top. I still have things to do. I still have things to do. Great, I've opened the path towards the hole. Pavlov's working desk is completely untidy, like everything he touches. Pavlov's noteboard. He took note of all his recent works. That is the container they are looking for. Pablo placed the magnetic block in the controls. I should delineate the fill indicators to free the container. Now it will get introduced in the hatch, then the transporter will take it to the spacecraft and they will leave me alone. Pavlov, we are in position. Taking remote control of the transporter. It's coming. 
Everything is correct. Guys, revise the container. Don't get offended, Paulo. We trust you, but we are not leaving without checking that it contains what we expect. Oh, what the hell? Fuck! Shoot! <laughs> Diary of Space Ruff Terranis, November 27th of 2352. Starting of register by the navigating officer Lucy Lambert. It's been more than seven months that we left Caronte towards Europe. However, what seemed like an ordinary transport mission has become a real nightmare. In the middle of the journey, the spacecraft suffered the general breakdown of the system produced by Nikolai Pavlov, mechanical engineer of Terranis. Nikolai self-programmed his hibernation capsule to work up beforehand and make an illegal transfer to a classified container to the space station Solarium Moon, property of the mega corporation Blue Pound. However, things didn't work out so well, and Pavlov disconnected by accident the vital support system. Our Captain Monroe and our medical officer Dr. Dana Martinez passed away. I hardly survived. At that point, we had reached our meeting point with Solaria Moon, and I was obligated to make the SIC-2640 container transfer to that station to save my life. I keep on asking myself what happened after that. It seems like the container contained something in its interior, something alive. I heard screams and gunshots coming from Solaria Moon, and little seconds later, the communication was cut off. I haven't heard anything from that damn container, its charge and solarium moon. Now, having almost three months until Regal Colony, I have decided to hibernate again, since there are not enough resources for me to survive awake. I haven't been able to send any SOS sign. I just have to wait and pray so that Tyrannus reaches its destination. <laughs> 